This right here has been one of my favorite toys lately. Let's just get into this right now. So this right here is the Moment 18 millimeter wide angle lens attachment for your phone. This is just kind of like my first impressions on it. It is really good. One of the things I want to talk about is the image quality, the build quality, and the types of shots you can get with this because it's really cool. So I was going to do an unboxing, but I was too excited and I got this about two weeks ago. It was actually the only thing I got for myself on Black Friday because they had a pretty good deal. I think it was like 30 bucks off. I don't really do Black Friday, but I was like, you know, I've been wanting this, so let's get it. So one of the things that you have to note is this lens attachment doesn't just pop under your phone without or with any case. You have to use the Moment case. You have to use one of their phone cases because the attachment works with it. You line this up right there and it's on. So this is what it looks like on your phone. I got this pretty sick case. I love this like wood, you know, vintage, whatever you want to call it. So here it is on the phone. Looks really slick, really nice. Here's the case that it comes in. You know, really nice packaging. Inside of that comes this handy picture. Super cool photo shot on moment and then instructions on the back on how to attach it. And then I also ordered the kit, so it came with the phone case, the lens, uh, the, the lens cover, and a little cleaning pen, which is kind of nice. So here's your everyday carrying case, love that. I've actually found that I could just, you know, put this on like my keys and just have it with me. Here's the lens cap that you use with it. You have to attach this part, these two come separately, but all you do is slip this on, put it on the back, and there you go. Now you have your lens completely sealed up. This photo also came in their lens, in their lens case, and then it shows you how to use it. But yeah, I am really impressed by this. So build quality is really, really nice. Immediately when I got this, I had no idea it was this big. This is like really nice and really glass. There's actually some weight to it, but I appreciate that. I always say this in all my videos. I hate using stuff that feels cheap or plasticky or just doesn't feel like it would withstand a fall. This seems like really high quality glass and metal. You attach this on. Here's with it. Here's without it, and with it. And this attachment is really, really strong. It doesn't seem like it's gonna wear or anything. It's on there really tight. I think like, you know, that's not gonna come off and it's gonna last for a while. The case itself is really high-end. They had a couple of different choices. I really like this textured wood. Even my wedding ring has wood in it. Really a big fan of that. It seems really protective, so I was like, hey, I got an awesome phone case out of it too. So next, the image quality is actually really, really good. I didn't see really any differences. Like I thought maybe it would lose a lot of sharpness or something like that. And funny enough, I uh, tried shooting some real estate with this. I'll show those examples right here. And I was like, yeah, let me just see how this would look on this phone. I opened Lightroom, Lightroom Mobile, and I started taking some shots and I was like, wow. The thing about this that I love too is it's rectilinear. It doesn't distort the lines. It doesn't look like that fisheye GoPro look. I don't really like that at all. So then pairing this wide angle point of view with the image stabilization in the iPhone XR shooting in 4K, you get some really nice shots for real. I'm gonna take a couple of video examples just if you're in my desk and I'll show you what it looks like. 100% handheld, I'm just gonna do some shots showing you what it looks like, but I think putting this on a gimbal, like one of my mobile gimbals, let me show you. This is the Feutech SPG2. Uh, I also made a review on this guy, link that somewhere in here. But I figured if I paired these two together, you would get some really awesome shots, no lie. And so I'm not gonna do this right now, that'll be part of like the full review. And then another feature that I like is portrait mode. Looks pretty cool on this. I didn't think it was gonna work, but here, let me show you guys. Hopefully it's focused right there. Yeah, let me put it right here. So portrait mode still works fine with this attachment. It's actually a pretty unique look. So I think pairing this 
you know, a really high-end phone like an iPhone XR or 11, the wide-angle lens, and then using something like Lightroom Mobile, I really wish I had this set up in Hawaii because you could shoot raw photos, edit them, put your looks on it. You'd probably get some really awesome photos of landscapes and people probably wouldn't even know the difference between this and a DSLR. But that's it for this video, guys. Just a first impressions, first look at this Moment 18 millimeter wide angle lens. So leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts on lens attachments and what you think of this stuff and mobile photography and videography in general. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be a part of my channel and I'll see you guys next week. Time to get back to editing.